Hi everyone. After a very long time, and I'm here to show you how to create this kind of IV that I used in this scene. Okay. Uh, let me see where is it. Here. It's in the the roof so uh, i'm gonna teach you how to make this kind of iv and for this we are going to need a add-on it's a free add-on called uh, modular 3 and it's a very nice and very useful add-on so uh, the link is in the description you download the this add-on the modular tree and I am using blender 2.83 because I don't know if there's a add-on uh, modular tree for blender 2.9 or 2.91 so I'm using it to show you when you download you just go to edit preferences install and check it okay mine is here modular tree take a look okay so um, I am going to the and so the viewport shading mode and I am going to disable those vegetation because uh, it's not necessary okay I'm going to disable everything okay so now to create this kind of iv you just need to select where you want it and place the cursor where you want it and then you press shift a and single vert add single vert you can see that i have my my single vert there if you don't have this option um you just need to go to the edit preferences if i am not wrong it's extra this extra object yes and then you'll have the vert okay now you also need to turn on this the snap and here you will choose face okay now in the edit mode by pressing tab you change from object to uh, edit mode and vice versa you just press e to extrude and you create the iv the way you want I'm going to make it not uh, too high because I just want to show you and then you keep creating. I don't use the IV generator a lot because it is very heavy. I mean, sometimes uh, my scene is with, I don't know, 1 million vertices and when I, I apply the uh, the IV generator it goes to 5 million so it's a lot okay and you keep doing I just want to show you so this is okay now you go to the object mode by pressing tab and here in the modifiers tab you select um, a skin modifier okay look it is messed up like this because we didn't apply the uh, the scale so press ctrl a scale okay now go to the edit mode by pressing tab press a to select everything and ctrl a to scale okay look ctrl a to scale um, I don't know but the the IV is going to be covered up by leaves 
so you can leave it like this um, or if you want it to be shown you can um, add a subdivision surface okay but in my case I don't need it okay okay and now we are going to use the um, modular tree to make the leaves you can create your own leaves but this way is easier so here uh, let's select m tree node tree okay i'm going to flip mine uh, to top i think yours is already like this flip to top and I'm going to create a new tree but in this case I just need the twig node so let's press uh, shift a node nodes twig node mine is already with the palmate if yours is not change to palmate and uh, let's zoom out to see where it's going to create the tree the, the twig execute here here I have my twig but from this twig I need only one leaf so let me select it's already selected go to the edit mode by pressing tab select one vertex and press L to select everything now press P and separate the selection now you can go ahead and delete everything else by pressing x delete okay and now we need to bring the origin to this point of the the leaf so let's go to the edit mode select and just uh, drag the uh, left mouse button shift s cursor to selected now we'll go to the object mode tab uh, right mouse click set origin origin to 3d cursor and now let's rename this here here leaf leaf okay it's here now we select our IV. You can create a trunk um, material for that. I taught you how to make materials, PBR materials, in another video. I'm going to leave it below. And I'm going not to use any material here, or I'm going to use a material that I already have because. Um, the goal of this uh, video is not to show you how to create materials. So. So now um, you can go ahead and here select the particle system, um, this plus button, okay, let's choose hair. Oh, it's not working because I didn't apply the skin modifier, I forgot. So let's go to the modifier tab and apply the skin modifier. Voila, it's working. Let's go back to the object to the particle system. Here you can control how many leaves do you want. For this size, I think 15 is okay. And down here, let's change from uh, jittery to random in the distribution. Here, render object and let's search for leaf okay and now um, let me see this oh I forgot here check advanced down here let's change the scale to 0 0.01 let's try um, fine 
and here the scale randomness let's try 0 0.5 okay amazing and in the rotation let's check the rotation and let's select normal and randomize let me see and randomize okay let me see how is it in the render mode it's gonna take a lot because my scene is very heavy there's a lot of vegetation and even with my video card it's it takes a lot look you can see that there are some um, uh, some leaves inside of um, those woods so what you can do let's go back to this solid view select this go to the weight paint mode and now you can um, paint where you want I don't know what's going on let me see okay um, you can just paint only where you want the leaves I just want them in this side look like this when you paint it of course I, I think you already know but if you don't know when you paint any kind of weight painting it is creating a new group for you here look a new group here so now let's go back to the object mode let's go to the particle system and down here in group in the density let's select that group I think there's there is not enough let me see Oh, look a a and you try a lot you try a lot of things so they work and you can increase or decrease the number of leaves let's try 30 look oh god it takes a lot I know there are almost uh, 3 million vertices and voila you can make a lot of things with this technique i hope you like it so share this video with your friends like it commented thank you very much guys be okay bye bye